at the uh, at the risk of giving away where I work. Not that it's that hard to find out where I work. Um, I just want to say that uh, I'm coming, walking back to my car from a reception, um, and uh, I got to talk to uh, the author Jason Reynolds tonight, who uh, happens to be uh, employed in one regard at uh, at the place where I work. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's been a thing at many of my jobs that I bumped into authors over the uh, over the years. Um, and yeah, it never ceases being cool. I imagine if you, you know, if you work in film or you work in music and, you know, you bump into an actor, a director, a musician, uh, that that is pretty cool. Um, for me, it's authors. And I bumped into some cool ones. Um, but I haven't had a really, like, cool conversation with a cool author in the way that I had, just had a cool conversation with Jason. Um, uh, and maybe that has to do with the fact that he's cool. I've used that word too much, um, but uh, had a good, good. I'm gonna say good instead of cool. Um, had a good conversation with him about um, the importance of uh, children's literature, uh, and and by children's literature, I don't just mean like young children. I mean like getting up into my own kids' age, eleven, seven, um, and the stuff that they have out there to read because of people like Jason, because of people like um, uh, Angie Thomas, who wrote uh, The Hate You Give, um, because of my f people like my friend uh, Jen Peteroy, whose uh, book uh, P.S. I Miss You is coming out in March. The stuff that's out there today for kids, I've said this in places before, I haven't said it in my, my video series uh, before now. I was, I was a closed-minded kid. I grew up in a closed-minded, um, not as closed-minded as some, but closed-minded, sheltered suburb in Massachusetts. And I wish I'd had some of the stuff that is accessible to my kids today because, you know, I eventually became a more open-minded person in college and grad school, but uh, could have been a much better person much sooner in life had I had exposure to the kind of literature that, that people like Jason are putting out today. And anyway, it was just, I don't know, not to get too serious. It was just a nice wide ranging conversation about things he's been up to. Um, I mean, it started with me having to be very businesslike. It was at a party, but I had to get him to, uh, to sign something because that's my job is to get people to sign shit and not a book. Um, but then turned into a, like a great conversation. Such a gracious guy. Um, and uh, if you haven't read anything of his, you, you should. Um, at the very least, go seek out uh, an interview to see what his, uh, his worldview is like. This is a guy who didn't read a ton as a kid. He's about, I don't know, we're, we're roughly the same age. Or maybe he's a little younger, maybe a little older. The, there, wasn't, there wasn't the stuff out there that he wanted to read when he was a kid. And so he decided to start fucking making it. And that's kind of how I feel about what I write. How I think all of us should feel about the stuff that we make is make the stuff that we wish we'd had. I don't know. Anyway, hope this hasn't been too disorienting to watch. <laughs> but uh, it's getting late and I don't know that I'll have time to make a video once I get home. So.